Back here in Capital Seoul late last week, an annual forum on offshore wind power took place between delegates from Korea and Germany amid broader efforts to transition into clean sources of energy. Our correspondent Lee Su Jin was there. In South Korea, both the government and private companies are striving to go green. And one of the ways they're striving to do so is by collaborating with other nations to develop offshore wind energy technology. At the third annual Korean-German Business Forum on Offshore Wind Energy held on Friday in Seoul, presentations and discussions were held to discuss ways the two countries can collaborate. Korea has a strong industrial base, particularly in the manufacturing area. And on the other side, Germany has this large experience. We are the third largest uh, uh, country when it comes to um, wind, offshore wind uh, parks. Uh, additionally, um, we, uh, we see a growing interest in, um, in cooperation between companies. Offshore wind energy refers to the generation of electricity by wind turbines located in bodies of water where wind speeds are greater than they are on land. And South Korea has set an ambitious goal of expanding its offshore wind energy capacity to 14.3 gigawatts by 2030. The country has a large potential as it has favorable environmental conditions for generating offshore wind energy. So Korea has great um, conditions for fixed bottom turbines on the west coast of Korea. So the water depths are of a very good level to enable um, foundations to be fixed. And on the east coast, it also offers some advantages for floating offshore wind because it has very deep waters as well. The wind speeds in Korea as well um, are good for offshore wind and um, they will allow to have very efficient um, renewable energy generated from offshore wind. In offshore wind energy technology, fixed bottom and floating wind turbines are the two different types of foundations used to anchor the turbines in the water depending on the depth of the seabed. But while Korea has geographical advantages, there are several major challenges, many of them on the national level. How do we solve the issue of grid rollout to enable connection of offshore wind farms across the whole of Korea in many areas where offshore wind and the military need to coexist? also with the fisheries as well. And one way to encourage the passing of bills that will help overcome these challenges is for companies and governments of the two countries to share their experiences and knowledge. With efforts like this to further boost collaboration between South Korea and Germany, Korea will soon be able to usher in an era of offshore wind energy technology. Lee Su-jin, Arirang News.